could go over um, If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. Let's see, get you a good shot on there. Okay, so let's start off with the intro. Um, if there's enough requests, I can go over the intro part where she's kind of just like strumming the chords in a different voicing. The, uh, that stuff, and then we'll go over that later. So let's go over the intro chords. So it's a really great song, and it's got a good groove to it. So it starts off on C major. I'll play, play it first, and then we'll go through the chords. So for the intro, we start with just a regular C major, which if you don't know what that is, ring finger on the second fret of the A string, uh, third finger, ring finger, middle finger, <laughs> middle finger on the uh, second fret of the D string, and then your first finger, index finger on the uh, B string of the first fret. And all the rest of the strings are open, and I usually don't strum the bottom E, I guess you could. So you're going to go from C, and we'll go for the strum pattern real quick too. So the strum pattern is going to be... Like that, okay? So we'll go C, to B minor. B minor, you just bar the second fret with your index finger from the A string all the way down. Your middle finger goes on the third fret of the B string, and then your ring finger goes on the uh, third fret. I'm, I'm sorry, the D string of the fourth fret, and then your pinky goes on the uh, fourth fret of the G string. So, and then don't strum the uh, bottom E up there. So we're going to go from C to B minor. C repeats. Okay, so B minor. A minor is uh, index finger, first fret, B string, and then your middle finger on the D string, second fret, and then your ring finger on the uh, G string, second fret, and the rest are open from the A string down. And then for G, I, I think it, to give it like a big open sound, there's several ways you can play G, but I think on this one, this is kind of like the ACDC style, I think, when I think of it, but um, you just put your middle finger on the third fret of the bottom A string, you mute the A string with your middle finger right there, and then on the, your ring finger goes the, uh, also the third fret B string, and then your pinky on the third fret E string to match the top, so you got G in both spots. And then the rest of them are open. Okay? So let's go through that together, the intro, ready? Now we're going to go into the verse and kind of strums the E a couple times to E minor. Okay, I'll play the verse part first. G a couple times. To E minor, E minor is just middle finger on the A string, second fret, ring finger, second fret, D string, rest are open. To 
to A minor, which we already went over, to D major. And for D, it's just index finger on the G string, third fret, middle finger on the uh, E string, third fret, top E string, and then your ring finger goes on the third fret of the B string. And then the, the, the D string is obviously strum because you're playing D. So we go. G sharp. You can play it. I usually just play, you can just play just that G sharp note, which is the fourth fret of the E string. If you want to, you can play the octave. Like, you know, uh, trying to figure out how to finger it. Or you could just play like the a power chord of it, which would be four, six, and six. However, so the, the first time through goes that way, the second time through goes to that, and then to the A minor and D. So we'll play through, I'll play through it really quick, just that the second part of my playthrough, so I make sure I have enough time. So it goes. Remember this is the second time through. I mean, this is the second time we're here. And then to the A minor. And then the next part is. We've already gone over, so it's G to A minor to B minor back to A minor. And then it goes back to the uh, Okay, so I'm going to kind of play through the seconds now, and you can play along with me um, of the second of the song. And just listen to it, and you'll hear which part goes where. So we'll start with the intro. So. Okay, and uh, as far as the intro part, if enough people request it, I can uh, put that up. But basically, all that you can do to make it sound good is just follow that initial chord progression. Remember the, the C to the B minor, A minor, G, and just do it with the different voices based off of the B and the E strings. Um, and you can hear it. But anyways, enjoy.